now that we have uh, looked into the details of all the steps, let's look at the code and see the steps more formally. Now let's look at the client side code. So let's see it line by line. So again, I have declared an integer uh, variable or shared memory ID, a key, and then two pointers of character pointer type. And then here I have created the shared memory through the video, uh, through the system call SSM get and Notice that I haven't used the uh, flag IPC underscore create here. Why? Because this is client side programming and we will not create the shared memory here because it's already created in the, um, in the server side section. Okay. Now I have checked here if the memory is created successfully or not. And then I have attached it and I've done the same steps and as done in the uh, server side programming, which I've just explained. Now let's look at this part where we are using the memory. So again, the usage of memory is further subdivided into two parts, right? So this is the first part and this is the second part. In the first part, we are just reading uh, what is uh, written in the shared memory. So what I have done is I have um, I have uh, saved the head of the memory in another, uh, another variable, another pointer variable. And then I have traversed the memory using that variable. So, so keep that thing in mind that you have to save the head of the memory. Don't use it traversing the memory. And then uh, using s, I'm incrementing s and I'm reading unless I reach 0. So remember, we put this character there in the shared memory in the last, uh, in the last slide in the server set program. So you can see here, this was the step that we, are, we were putting a terminating character here. So we will read up till that terminating character in the client side, right? And we will just print whatever there is uh, on the screen. So this is the reading part. Now the important part is this, that we have to put static or any other signal after reading to show the server that we are done. So with what we actually are doing is, if this is your, uh, this is your shared memory, let's say, what we are doing is we are putting static in the first location. So remember, right now, at, at after after this for loop, at this point in the code, the shared memory pointer, SHMPTR, is pointing towards the first index. And let's say this is 0, this is Z. So the S pointer is pointing towards the last index at this point in the code. So we are uh, putting static at the first pointer. You can see here, uh, we are pointing where SHMPTR is pointing. So it's pointing at the first index. So that's why we are putting static at the first index of the shared memory. And we programmed in the server side programming, uh, server side programming, yeah. We programmed that if, unless the first index of the shared memory receives static, right? Unless that is written there, it will be stuck in, a, uh, in an infinite loop. So the server is actually waiting right now at this point. So that's what we are doing. We are signaling it. So you can think of it like some detective movie where two detectives or the spies are signaling each other using um, light signals. That actually reminds me of the Sherlock Holmes novel, uh, The Hound of Baskerville. It was really good. Do give it a read if you like novels, if you like reading. Okay, so the last step, the fourth step, uh, in the client side programming is SHMDT and pointer. So we are detaching in this step and there is no deleting step, so we will just return. So this is the client side programming code. It, it is relatively easier than the server side programming. Okay, let's look at the libraries that we will be using in this um, topic. These are system IPC and system SSM. So you have to use these two extra libraries for interprocess communication. 